everybody, this is Julen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Meet My Plants. I'm so excited to be back home in Santa Monica. It is Friday, Aloha Friday. I'm here in my bikini because I'm heading to the beach and I wanted to go ahead and share this awesome plant with you guys. I just got back from Pilates, weather is awesome and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to share this awesome plant with you. Now, I had this plant in my collection for about three, four months, purchased it at Star Nursery in Las Vegas for probably six to seven dollars, and it's doubled in size in my patio here in Santa Monica, has given me many new leaves, and actually gave me a baby leaf yesterday. So I was like, you know what, Joanne? This is the perfect time to shine some light on this amazing plant. Here she is, awesome, in my patio. And I had this, yeah, since the spring and it's been doing so good and enjoying the summer here in Santa Monica. As you can see, the foliage is nice and hardy. It is not a hard plant to take care of. Let me tell you this. I had this plant living in my home in Las Vegas in the beginning and then I brought it down to Santa Monica. And since then, it's just been doing awesome in my patio. I water it two to three times a week. I missed it two to three times a week. It stays in a shaded part of my patio, and that's pretty much it. Um, the foliage is nice and shiny, as you can see, which is one of its trademark looks of a rubber plant. And what I love about this plant is that it's so easy to take care of, and it has so much cool vibes. Now, how do I take care of the foliage? Just like my fiddle leaf figs, I do get a damp napkin and I have coconut oil on it and I rub the front and back of the leaf probably once every other week to kind of get the dust off and give it its shine back. This is such an awesome plant and I absolutely love having rubber plants in my collection. It's probably one of the most trendiest house plants too if you are into house plants and they're very easy to take care of. Now, if you guys love watching these types of videos, let me know in the comments below and also let me know if you have a burgundy rubber plant, how long did you have it and how tall is it now these plants get really big in size I probably like to get my plants on the smaller side most of the time because I love seeing them grow under my care as you can see here this just happened in the last two days so it is blooming a new leaf here so it was actually on the small tiny side covered in this red little peel here and then it opened up and it's slowly unraveling itself look at that that is so cute and i love giving lots of love to all of my plants and its new baby leaves as you can see here as well there's a small little baby here and i will probably propagate this now when you propagate rubber plants you have to be a little bit patient we're talking like five six months to see water roots but you can water propagate this plant so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick video it's absolutely stunning and i will give more updates in the future of the plants that i do share on my channel but for now i wanted to go ahead and do this quick video with you guys i hope you enjoy these types of videos give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love watching my plant related videos because i definitely love sharing them with you i have so many plants to share with you guys so i'm slowly making my way and featuring everybody on my channel but i absolutely love root be my burgundy rubber plant and she's awesome so let me know in the comments below what kind of plants you want to see on my channel because i probably have them and i love sharing them with you guys you can find more on my blog at ilojulian.blogspot.com until next time aloha bye